Summer Game as Lose Gaming here with my reaction to EA Play at E3's briefing. Um, we'll go through exactly what they unveiled, all the latest news, and all that good stuff in this video. We'll start off with the big one um, Star Wars um, Battlefront 2. They, they showed 30 minutes of. Um, multiplayer gameplay which in my opinion was a bit too much but they, I can understand why they've done it because they are pushing that game this year it's their big game of the release for the year so I can understand why they've done it but I just thought half an hour was a bit too long but the game itself did look outstanding they have promised a full on campaign uh, story mode which was sadly missing from the the first game but, and they have promised that um, it's three times bigger and better than the first game they've improved it in all areas multiplayer campaign and all sorts so hopefully it will be a big improvement uh, makes it more f hopefully it'll make you feel more involved in a Star Wars story because I think that's what was missing from the first game um, also it was unveiled that Battlefield 1 is receiving some new content in September I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because I have made a separate video on that but all I will say is there is 8 new maps coming in at September and one of them maps is set at night time, so it would be interesting to see sniping at night. Right, right moving on to um, an indie game next, which was unveiled uh, called A Way Out. It's set in a prison. Um, it reminded me a lot like Prison Break, the TV show. It looks very good, but all I would say is that the game needs to be completed with two players, whether it's split screen or online, um, which I'm not sure will work, but obviously we will see um, whether it does or not. It does really look a good game, but I'm just not sure about the, the split screen or the, the actual online campaign to actually complete the game that's all I'm saying but it might work it might be a s smash hit but it is only um, an indie game so whether it's got the market appeal to bring big numbers in I'm not sure about but it'll be interesting to watch so we'll just watch that space um, the next game I want to bring you that they unveiled was the new um, Need for Speed Payback, which looked incredible. It looked a bit like um, GTA 5, um, a cross between Burnout, thing, because it did have like um, elements where you had to c cause crashes to other cars and that. And um, it did look promising, because I think it has. Need for Speed has become a bit stale, in my opinion. So it's good that they're mixing it up. Hopefully the story will be good, strong, um, immersive. Um, but the graphics looked really solid, polished. So it does really look good. I'm just hoping for some decent um, story to it. To it. Um, Moving on to the next piece I want to bring you, which is a new IP for um, thing it, which is called Anthem. They didn't really show much about it. it I'd say probably about 20 seconds, and that would just um, fit, um, like cut scenes. It wasn't there wasn't anything in depth because that'll be unveiled tomorrow on Microsoft's stage um, on Scorpio because that's what 
the guy from EA Play said. It'll be more information on that tomorrow. But just a, a quick teaser of a new IP. It to me it looked a bit like a Titanfall a cross between Titanfall and Destiny. Um, it looks promising, but I don't know what it's new about it, which will be interesting to see tomorrow. Um, so we'll just have to hold that space for that. Um, what else? Oh, FIFA and Madden. Um, I'll start with Madden 18. Has got a new a uh, new story mode. Um, it start it starts off with a, a young guy with his dad talking about football. Um, and that's what, it, hopefully the story will be strong because if it, if they get it right, it could be emotional. If say for instance the father dies when the kid's young, the story could be emotional. It'd be interesting to how what direction they take with that. And with FIFA, there's hunters coming back from um, FIFA 17. The um, the journey continues, so to speak. So. Will he stay or will he go to another club? The choice is yours. Um, you make the, the choice for him because it is a, a story element. So that's with with that. And EA have act promised a lot of um, making FIFA and Madden more... What's the word? More competitive. So if you are really good at Madden or FIFA, there's more chances for you to actually get into the virtual um, community of playing competitively in competitions and that. If you are good, they're going to try and open it up, which is a really good idea if you are really good at the game. I'm not, <laughs> but a lot of you will be out there, so it'll be interesting to see which ways they go forward and all that good stuff with that but uh, to be honest the, the presentation the briefing was solid enough it's exactly what I thought it was going to be um, like I said earlier in the video I think they could have actually um, improved it with not so much um, gameplay of Star Wars Battlefront 2 but I can understand like I said I can understand why they've done it so I'd give it a, sol a solid 7 out of 10 um, it was a solid enough start to E3 it, there was nothing mind blowing but it was solid enough some some good games some good indie a good, well a good looking indie game and what you'd expect from EA solid enough and um, that completes my review reaction of um, EA's, EA's briefing loose gamer is out